50 quiz, 50 years. Well, it's the 50 year anniversary of the decriminalisation, a partial decriminalisation of um, homosexuality in this country. It was a, a, an incredible milestone. The fact that we're celebrating it shows that there, a lot has been achieved in 50 years and there's still a hell of a lot to do. So this 50 years sort of represents icons from, from that whole time, but representing people, events, um, and places as well. So we've made sure that we've got equal number of women and men represented, we've got plenty of trans people, non-binary people, there are people from different ethnic backgrounds, so quite a few people that maybe aren't that known underground figures, people who've been involved in the, in the, in the fight, I suppose. We've also got 5% of the icons we have are from Hull, so we've tried to include like you know local people so that we can so that people have got something to relate to and people see themselves reflected in the, within the parade. We've got the Warren, which is um, known for supporting LGBT youth in Hull. Fuel in the current gay scene uh, and Silhouette, which was one of the uh, first clubs uh, that held like gay nights and things in Hull. The way that we're going about it is the, or the kind of style is, is, I would say, high camp. I was looking at just loads and loads of pictures of processions of icons and it kind of just automatically takes you to looking at these kind of fabulous sort of Spanish Catholic processions with these wonderful um, icons covered in flowers and gilded and bejeweled and it just seems so right really, that, we, that we take that sort of aesthetic and, um, and bring, it, bring it to what we're doing here but with a bit of tongue-in-cheek as well to it. The Pride Marches are very important and this is going to be part of the Pride March. We're not coming in to take over the Hull Pride, it's part of UK Pride and this is to enhance the parade and to try and work with the local people so it would be great if anyone who out there would like to come and help. Um, there's an awful lot of decorating to do, um, there's a bit of, still a bit of a structure to do and there's also carrying the objects so uh, we need people to do that. We're um, we're here every Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and we're open to whoever wants to come in and join us. Um, we want people to come and attach flowers to things, to decorate things, to bring all those sort of like creative skills that people have or even if they don't have creative skills come and just join in because it's a really lovely buzz in the place. <laughs>